Okay, here's the Manure Master 2.0. Been through a lot of ver release versions with this thing. Um, I modeled this off a commercial unit that's normally pulled behind a tractor and it has its own blower and everything on it, but this, this is attached to a plastic wheelbarrow so you can do it by hand. Uh, the, the basic operation is this is a backpack leaf blower that's been taken apart so the harness is normally here and would be sitting on your back and the place where it draws air in is now into this plenum and then down into the wheelbarrow and it sucks out this or through this black piece of corrugated pipe and that's what draws the manure in off the ground and then what used to be the discharge of the thing that blows air is this right here you can actually see the old handle with the throttle so you would be holding this in your hand like this working the throttle and the air would be blowing out the end of this to blow leaves away so it's kind of running I mean the motors not running backwards but the operation is backwards from what it normally is so the backpack blower I have is a steel BR600 and what I learned from this is that it has way too high uh, or it has much more uh, airflow than is really necessary. So I have to run this at idle in order to not turn the manure into powder because if you turn the manure into powder it just ends up getting sucked into the impeller and blown out here it makes a big mess clogs everything up. So what you really want to do is just barely suck the manure off the ground, keep it moist and whole so it packs in the wheelbarrow and doesn't get into the blower. So you could have, I probably could have used a much smaller leaf blower, but then I would have had to run it at a higher speed to get the same uh, airflow as this thing does at idle. Uh, one nice thing about running this at idle is I don't really need ear protectors. You can wear them just because it helps a little, but it's not really that loud. Um, let me show you the insides of this thing. One thing I had to add was a filter. So the air is getting sucked in through this piece of uh, window screening. And you, oh, the darn mice are already in here. I didn't notice that. But anyway, um, this keeps the manure from coming up and getting into the impeller of the thing. So all the manure stays in here. That's why if you have too high an air velocity, it makes everything powdered, plugs the screen up, doesn't work. And you can see this is the inlet from the hose on top. And then all around the edge, I just use, uh, you know, some foam sealant that I got at the, at the hardware store so that you have a nice tight air seal between the wheelbarrow and this. Because every place you leak air means you can't suck as much manure up through the thing. Uh, obviously, this is made out of plywood. That's the first change I'm going to make is the next version is going to be out of aluminum because this gets pretty damp, stays damp, and it's starting to warp. So as it starts to warp, it doesn't seal good. So that's the next change. And then the other thing that's a bit of a problem is this tube. So initially, I just had the corrugated, this is just drainage corrugated uh, tubing. I tried just using it, but it's not strong enough to break the manure up on the ground. So when the manure's been out a day or so, um, it gets kind of like you know cookie dough, and you can't you can't hit it hard enough to break it up. But with a piece of PVC, you can get it, cut through it, and breaks it into pieces. Um, so the biggest problem is this is not flexible enough. It's just too rigid. It makes it a little hard to move around. But I haven't come up with anything better yet, so that's what I'm using. The other thing is you can really only use this on grass because if you use it on limestone or gravel it sucks up the gravel and the dust gets into the impeller and that would probably wear it out pretty quick. It's not designed to run on dirty air. To empty this thing, you have a small block and tackle attached to the cover over the manure pile and by lifting right here the whole top comes off and then I can empty the wheelbarrow and lower the top back on. This is, even though the top is not all that heavy, a person can lift it. It's really clumsy because it's big around, so you can't hold it up. You can't really do anything with it once it's off. So, oh, and the other change I'm going to make on the new version when I convert to aluminum is I called steel and they said this blower will run in any configuration. So I'm going to lay it down flat right on top of the aluminum and that'll get rid of this plenum. Uh, so it gets rid of a lot of source of air leaks and just make the whole thing simpler. So we'll go run it now and you can see how it works.